Do you know what an artist and a sniper have in common? Details. Like when a touch of color is out of place. When a shadow does not match with its surroundings. Or when a shape is not where it is supposed to be. The only difference is the stakes. Mine are higher. What's going on everybody? Sloth here. Hope you're having an awesome day and welcome to my guide of little glass bag. Glass bag. Glass is a two armor, two speed, ranged attacking operator hailing from the Russian Special Forces, the Spetsnaz. Now Glass comes well equipped with the best long range weapon in the game, the OS-03. Now this gun does 85 damage, has a single shot fire rate and a capacity of 10 in the magazine which is quite low. Now you can choose to put up to 3 scopes on this gun. My personal preference is the red dot sight, I just think it's pretty clear and I tend to do okay when using it. But feel free to use any of the other 3. Then he has the choice between, I believe the flash hider, the muzzle brake and the silencer. Now if you do put a silencer on this weapon, it's going to basically make your bullets a lot harder to hear, but it's going to unfortunately mean that you do slightly less damage, bringing that damage from 85 down to 72, so it's completely up to you if you want to use the silencer. I sometimes don't run with it because I do prefer to try and drop all my enemies within that two shot threshold, whereas if you come up against a rook, using rook armor and you shoot them, they might not go down in two shots when using the silencer, but again, it's completely up to you. Then Glass has the choice between the GS H18 and the PMM in the pistol category. I like to commonly go with a pistol that gives me the more capacity so the one I go for is the GSH18 as it has more capacity and I also put a silencer on it to take out them nonce in cameras. Glass then has the option to choose between the breaching charges and the smoke grenades. Now you'd be a fool not to take the smoke grenades in because Glass basically becomes half as effective when he does not have smoke grenades because smoke grenades basically allows Glass to do Glass things and do Glass things very well. So take the smoke grenade if you do want to Glass. Moving on to Glass's gadget. Glass's gadget is the flip side which essentially means he can toggle between a short range scope and his long range scope. His long range scope basically has a thermal image on it that allows him to see through smokes and also will highlight any enemy in yellow. Now do take notice that I do say any enemy including the dead ones so when you are looking down the site if there is a dead enemy they will still highlight yellow so don't pummel all of your bullets into it because you're not going to be able to do anything to him that's something to bear in mind make sure you are shooting the people that are still alive. When playing this glass you are essentially your team's guardian angel when making sure that all of your attacking team make it into the building successfully. This means keeping at a good range from the doors and windows that you think enemies are going to be coming out and trying to spawn freak from. Keeping an eye on them and making sure if any enemies do show their face, trying to blow the faces off your teammates, you make sure to swiftly remove their face from their head and their head from their shoulders. Now it should come as no surprise that Glass is one of the best ranged attacking operators on the game considering that he is the only sniper on the game. So make sure you try and use him to this advantage. I see a lot of Glass players running into the objective as soon as possible. Try and make sure that when you are starting the round as Glass you try and keep your distance and get a key line of sight on the objective room. So if you know that there might be a few windows that are directly linked to that objective room, don't rush into the building, keep your distance distance blow open a hole in that window and try and figure out and see if there are enemies inside that room and take them out if you're able to do so. When playing as Glass, it's incredibly important to try and learn the angles in which you can get locks on these key important objective windows. It might take some time to find out the best ones, but I'm sure there are plenty of videos on the internet that will basically show you key glass spots. If you want to be a good glass player, you kind of need to know where you need to be looking in the first place. Now, another key tip to bear in mind when playing as Glass is is to take your time and not to rush. Like I've mentioned, try and stay outside of the building for as long as possible, keeping a good line of sight on the objective so you're still aware of what's going on in that objective room. But try and also make sure that you're not rushing in because the longer the round goes on, the more damage your teammates are most likely do to your enemies and therefore meaning because Glass's gun usually drops people within two bullets, the more damage the enemies are, it's going to basically mean that when you do have to go into them close quarters situations where Glass is actually weak, the enemies are going to be a lot weaker and you should be able to take them out in one shot compared to two. Whereas if you have to try and fire two shots of Glass's gun that doesn't fire that fast, up close against the bandit who's firing that thing, you know, at like a million miles an hour, 
he's most likely going to be able to tag your head with a headshot before you're able to put him down. So bear in mind, playing stealthy as glass does have benefits. But also bear in mind, don't be a douchebag when playing as glass. You are going to be playing slightly slower and you are going to be primarily staying out of the building, keeping a line of sight on it from a distance. So don't pick up the bomb on rounds that allow you to pick up bombs because if your team does storm in there and they have a chance to plant the bomb and you're all the way on the other side of the map, you're not going to be much to use to them. Also, make sure that you are getting into the action. If you are holding a window that is useless and you know that enemies aren't going to be coming from there, don't stay there and continue to hold that angle. Make sure you do push in with the teammates because sometimes you are going to have to get stuck in you know, and get amongst it whilst trying to help your teammate out in the attacking push. So don't be that guy that sits all the way on the outside of the map when there's no need to do so. If the team fight's happening right there and then and you don't have an angle on it, unfortunately you are going to have to go in there and give it the best that you've got. Now moving on, how to actually use glass with smoke grenades. It's pretty simple. If you throw a smoke grenade down as glass, his flip lens sight allows him to basically see through that smoke while other enemies and no one else on the game can see through that smoke. Glass is clearly able to pick out enemies through the mist of that smoke, therefore giving him a huge advantage. That makes Glass fantastic for kind of peeking windows and peeking corridors because he's able to throw that smoke down. Enemies aren't going to be able to see where you are and they're going to be blind firing into the smoke, whereas you're going to be able to hopefully pick them off very clearly as they're frantically trying to shoot you or running and ducking for cover. Now, another good use for this is throwing the smoke inside actual objective rooms or rooms where you know where the enemies are, storming in their organs blazing. We with your flip sight activated and basically being able to pick enemies off that are cowering in corners or trying to challenge you but you're going to have the advantage because you see through the smoke and they can't so make sure when playing as glass you are using the smokes to the best of your ability you are throwing them down when you know you're going to be engaging in a gunfight because it just gives you the upper hand some people don't use their smokes they think they're pretty much guaranteed a kill when they peek anyway and then they get their head taken off so make sure you are using your smokes now another good use for glass that not many people know about is castle is essentially one of Glass's best friends. I know sometimes you think when you're playing as Glass and you're keeping your distance and you see that there's a castle put up and you can't peek through that window, if you actually move closer to the objective room and shoot a hole through that castle window, you are actually able to see through the little hole that you've shot through because Glass's gun does a lot of penetration. You can see into that room and you can basically pick enemies off through that tiny little hole in the wall. They're still going to glow yellow, which basically allows you to see them and them not to see you. If you do want to destroy that, that castle wall, I do think it takes about 12 shots to destroy and Glass's gun has 10 in the magazine, so it's going to basically be a magazine and a little bit to destroy it, but you can also do that if you do need to break through them pesky castle doors. Now, there are all the tips basically when playing as Glass. In terms of playing him in a typical round, I would recommend figuring out where the objective room is in the droning phase of the round, then essentially making sure you've got a line of sight on that objective room. It's not always possible when playing as glass. That's sometimes why you use a bit of a flexible pick. But if you're pretty sure an enemy is going to go into one of the objective spots where glass will have a good line of sight on it, try and get an angle on that objective room whilst keeping your distance so you can almost safely look into that objective room. It is better if you do have a silencer because sometimes enemies are going to be kept at ease and they're not going to know someone's shooting at them until it's too late. But if you do want to use an unsuppressed weapon, feel free to do so. So whilst you've got a long distance line of sight on the room, try and take out any enemies that you possibly can. Getting to that spot as quickly as possible is imperative because some defenders are still setting up their equipment, which basically allows Glass, in a sense, some free kills. So once you've been scouting out this position for a while, be patient, wait there for maybe about a minute. If there's no activity, push up to the objective room and make sure you help your team in the big team fight. Smoke that window out, smoke that objective room out, see if you can spot any enemies inside that objective room. And then from that point, pick up as many kills as possible while supporting your team. And that's pretty much basically it for when playing as Glass. That's what I recommend doing in a typical round. That's it from me. Hope that you've got some value from this video if you haven't played Glass very often. Hope this video has been helpful to some people. And without further ado, have a great day.